volcano, a classic science experiment. Can anyone name the two ingredients commonly used to simulate the explosive force of an eruption? A can of chili and irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> Vinegar and baking soda. Very good, Echo. Well, that's what's on your desk. It was either that or lavender body wash and zit cream. <laughs> what? <laughs> the drugstore must have handed me the wrong bag. I ordered uh, shaving cream and chest hair conditioner. <laughs> now, to create a more realistic volcano, we'll add a pinch of sulfur to give it a brimstone smell and tomato sauce to simulate the color and texture of molten lava. Then we add the baking soda and the vinegar and Um, I don't think it's working. Oh, it's working all right. What I've created here is a realistic volcano. It could explode at any second. Oh. Or lay dormant for a hundred years. Oh. Okay, see y'all tomorrow. When we'll witness this ticking time bomb detonate. Or just continue to sit there. Mr. Young, I just have a question about the homework assignment. I can't Time to give nature a little kickstart. Ooh, I'll add lavender body wash and zit cream. <laughs> Derby, what have you done? Me? This is your fault. You left me unattended with volatile chemicals. <laughs> it's gonna explode! No problem. I'll just gas up with water. Wait, that's vinegar! Oh, no. Oh, we've got to do something before... <laughs> before what? the window. Okay, I got an idea. We open a window to clear the smoke, and once we can see, we find a window and open it. Derby, that doesn't make any sense. I can't think in these conditions. I need to clear my head. Someone open a window. Hello? It's Principal Tater. Ask him where the window is. I heard a loud boom coming from the direction of your lab. What's going on? He wants to know what's going on. What should I tell him? Lie through your teeth. I'm with Derby on this one. Okay, I'll just make something up. Mr. Tater, Derby sabotaged my volcano and it erupted all over me, creating a noxious cloud of smoke. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Give me the phone. Don't listen to Mr. Young. What really happened is, I sabotaged his volcano. It erupted all over him, creating a noxious cloud of smoke. <laughs> You two are the worst liars I have ever met. I tried to lie, but the truth just came out. This tomato sauce I took from the cafeteria expired in 1982. Who cares? We're not making spaghetti puttanesca. Ooh, can we make spaghetti puttanesca? When tomatoes go bad, they release nitrogen. That, combined with the other elements in the lava, must have created C11H17N2NaO2S. Could you put it in terms I can understand? Sodium thiopental, truth gas. Now, could you put it in terms I can understand? Volcano go boom, smoke make us tell truth. Hello? Hello? Are, are you still there? Okay, you definitely shouldn't tell Tater that. Agreed. <laughs> Mr. Tater, Echo Derby and I have all been exposed to sodium thiopental gas. Could you put it in terms I can understand? <laughs> Volcano go boom. Smoke make us tell truth. <laughs> Is this really necessary? I'm not taking any chances. You're all under full quarantine until the effects of the gas have worn off. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Not even a little. You no leave till I say. 
In fact, this place is under 100% lockdown. No one goes out, no one comes in. Hey, Adam. Mom said I have to drive you home. Put this over your head so no one recognizes you while you climb into my trunk. Ivy, you're not supposed to be in here. Don't worry, I'm not staying. There's a big sale at the mall. You might want to check it out yourself. This ensemble makes you look puffy. Stop right there, Missy. You're not leaving. You've been exposed to the truth, gas. I feel fine. Besides, I can't miss that sale. Pretty clothes help mask my deep-seated insecurities and fill the void in my life created by a lack of meaningful social bonds. <laughs> See? You have everything to worry about. It's completely affected me. Later. Now, I suggest the five of you get comfortable. Five? But there are only four of us. Slab? Who falls asleep in science class? <laughs> During tests. Well, I can see this is going to be fun. I wish I could stay and share the experience with you. And just so we're clear, I'm lying. we've been exposed to truth gas. I hope we're not quarantined here all night. Oh, me too. I can't sleep a wink without Mr. Cuddlesworth. <laughs> oh, and you still sleep with a stuffed animal? Uh, of course not. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Mr. Cuddlesworth is my blankie. <laughs> He's blue and fuzzy and makes me feel safe. <laughs> what I mean is my closet has monsters. <laughs> I'm totally serious. Tater can't keep us here. Luckily, I'm always prepared for a situation like this. So this stuff will help us escape? Uh, no. This is my prank kit. And why do I have a prank kit? See if you can handle this truth. I like pranking. That's it. I'm not staying here another second. I've got to get to the mall for that sale and my secret job working the deep fryer at Captain Scalp's Fish and Chips. <laughs> Cool. Can you give me extra stamps for my little pirate's club card? <laughs> Three more pig legs, and I get a free balloon. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where are you hopping to? Running rabbit. <laughs> Mr. Tater has told me to make sure you stay in science rab. Oh, look. It's not science rab. That's right. I'm leaving. <laughs> How did you do that? Dang is everywhere and nowhere. But mostly everywhere. Well, you've been exposed. That means you can't leave the school. Why would I ever leave this paradise? I finally found a place where I can wear a fancy hat without fear of it being stolen by Reef Monkey. <laughs> Look at me, wearing fancy hat. Come and get it, Reef Monkey. Ah, but you can't. Because you don't live in this paradise, Reef Monkey. Hi, Nico. I'll escort you to the bathroom. Derby, I need your advice. Shh. Keep it down. I don't want Slab waking up before I complete my masterpiece. Oh, forget the stupid prank. I've got real problems here. Stupid prank? Do I come to your place of work and put down what you do? Constantly. <laughs> but I expect more from you. <laughs> your problems don't interest me, and I'm not sorry. There. Now, can we please get back to me? <laughs> Feel free to tell me what's on your mind, although I'll mostly be concentrating on my prank. Every time I talk to Echo, I'm forced to tell the truth. It's only a matter of time before I let the how I feel about her. So? So she'll be freaked out when she discovers my unhealthy and, yes, somewhat creepy obsession with her. <laughs> so then just don't talk to her. Then she'll ask why I'm not talking to her and I'll blurt out everything. Then just eliminate your ability to talk. No jetpacks allowed? <laughs> what exactly is this prank? Isn't it obvious? 
I'm gonna make Slab think he's been asleep for a hundred years and is awakened in a bleak dystopian future. <laughs> Check out the cafeteria special. $600 for macaroni and beef. I told you it was bleak. <laughs> hey, Adam, what are you working on? I'm not in my own time. <laughs> Is something wrong with your mouth? I can't understand you. Excellent. Everything is going according to plan. Oh, I know. Maybe you can tell me what happened using charades. First word, I. Second word, sounds like. Bum. Crumb. Dumb. Numb. That's fine. <laughs> Uh-oh. Numb. Did you numb your own tongue? Why would you do that? First word. <laughs> cold. You're cold. Your tongue is so cold, it's not. Running. Running to keep warm. Falling. Falling down. Nosebleed. Big nosebleed. Pool of red. The hunt for red October. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Tater, those vertical stripes are very slimming. Don't try to flatter me. You're not leaving. But since I know you're telling the truth, thank you. <laughs> I'm old! <laughs> We're subjected to draconian laws in this bleak dystopia. What's so funny, young descendant of Derby? I am Derby. And I'm laughing because you're not really old. I just successfully pranked you. You thought that would work? Yeah, well, the joke's on me, because I was completely fooled. What? Well, I knew you'd be fooled, because I think you're a big, dumb idiot. What did you say? Don't hurt me. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, what's happening? You hurt my feelings. You have feelings? Of course. I'm not a violent person by nature, but kids can be cruel when you don't fit in. So use my considerable stature and strength as a defense mechanism to mask my pain. <laughs> Why am I telling you this instead of just punching you? <laughs> <laughs> hey there, gorgeous. I have to get out of here. It's too bad we're on the second floor. Or I go out the window. You could make a rope out of your clothes. How about I make a rope out of your clothes? You want to start upstairs or downstairs? Actually, I don't think your doll clothes will get me much further than the ledge. <laughs> Monkey. I love it. Whoa, what happened to you? I'm not my own what? heart. I can't understand you. Try charades. First word, I. You numbed your own tongue so Echo wouldn't be able to understand you, and now you're telling the truth in charades. <laughs> Ow. Well, you need to make your charades as hard to understand as your words. <laughs> Thank you. I am as wise as this hat is fancy.
see what's going on here. <laughs> this chom chom tree. I not seen one of these since I read Vietnam. <laughs> now to shake roots, ripe, juicy chom chom fruit. What? This tree hold many treasure. <laughs> but the treasure I covet most is the tiny, sweet, fresh of Jum Jum! <laughs> Ivy? Please, Dang, I have to get out of here. I understand your desire. I, too, have desire for Jum Jum fruit. <laughs> but you ain't entire harvest. In my village, for an act so evil, you will be exiled and forced to live with Reef Monkey with nothing but unfancy hat. <laughs> Which might sound good at first, but without fancy hat as diversion, Reef Monkey go for face. Been avoiding me. Is everything okay? No, I'm fine. I, I, I can't uh... understand you. Trash raids. First word. <laughs> arms. Long, crazy arms. Monkey, monkey arms. Leaf monkey. A leaf monkey stole your fancy hat. <laughs> oh, I thought I had that one. Well, since raids aren't working, do you know Morse code? That's great. I picked it up when I was a Badger Scout. You can blink to communicate. I have attached electrodes. Oh. <laughs> hey, big guy. What do you want? Earlier, when I called you a big dumb idiot, <laughs> I wasn't angry when I said it, and I really did mean it. <laughs> I hate this truth gas. But even if you are a big dumb idiot, which you are, and I wish I could stop saying, the important thing to remember is that you have no other good qualities. Darn it! So I'm sitting in my office trying to enjoy my Chom Chom smoothie. <laughs> when I hear Dang going on about the leaf monkeys again. I come out to tell him to pipe down and who do I find? But Mr. Dater, I'm not fine. I'm still completely under the effects of the truth gas. <laughs> Darn it. If I see you out in that hallway one more time, young lady, there will be serious consequences. <laughs> stay out of the hallway, but he didn't say anything about the vent. Although this truth gas prevents me from lying and in no way alters my moral compass, which is pointed squarely at the mall. Mold, pollen, dust, cat hair. You're allergic to all this stuff. Careful, a single pinch of that will make your eyes swell shut. <gasps> oh, Adam, I can't just stand here and watch you do this to yourself. I'm gonna go grab a chair. Derby, I've had a lot of time to think. And I've realized two things about myself. One, I enjoy good cry. And two, I only realized one thing about myself. I realized something too. Despite your gruff exterior, today taught me that you do indeed have a heart. Really? Absolutely. I may needle you, but only because I consider you a friend. A dear friend. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Which, as I've said, I actually kind of enjoy. <laughs> Come here, friend. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
Derby, that was amazing. By seeing Slab through the prism of naked honesty, not only did you find his humanity, but you also found common ground between you. Oh, that, nah, I was just lying. Wait, I was lying. <laughs> you mean the truth guys were off? Does that mean I'm cured too? Quick, ask me a question you know the answer to to see if I can lie. Do you find me even the slightest bit attractive? Yes. I'm cured! <laughs> Woo! All right, you called and I'm here. But if this is some kind of trick... No trick, Mr. Tater. The truth gas has run its course. Prove it. You are a beloved principal, and I have nothing but great respect for you. That could just as easily be the truth. <laughs> you are a beloved principal, and I have nothing but great respect for you. All right, you people are cured. <laughs> Hello, Beth! The gas is manifesting new side effects. No, he's fine. He just did all this to avoid talking to Echo. Tell him, Adam. Dobby, that's not true. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you don't enjoy my company. Uh, don't worry, I'll make sure you never have to speak to me again. Uh, <laughs> that's it. The quarantine holds until these symptoms pass. Or the building is vaporized by the army to prevent an outbreak that could result in the extinction of all mankind. <laughs> Worst case scenario. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. The five of you are... Wait a second. Where's Ivy? Uh. <laughs> Mr. Chater, your hazmat suit is ripped! Ah! I've got to get to my office and fetch my sewing kit. So fast! 